Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy, and welcome back to my stream. Today, I'm continuing my playthrough of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. Now, where we last left off, we finally finished off the fourth trial, and unfortunately, one of the best boys, the true gentleman of our group, was the one who was behind it. We still don't have the full explanation for exactly why, we just know he got a glimpse of what the outside world was like. Uh, it was really bad. And he decided it'd be better if we were all dead. So, uh, that's promising. <laughs> so there's not too many of us left. Oh, once again, Kokichi's in, uh, little bastard man territory. And cannot be trusted. As per the title of this stream. And... Man, Kaito is not doing too good. He's, his cough blood syndrome is getting worse. And just... Nobody's having a good time right now. There aren't too many of us left and everybody's having a bad, bad old time. So, that means it's time for free time. This might be our last little bit of hangout time that we get with these characters until the end of the game. So, I'm looking to make the most of it. Like, honestly, I don't have that many friendship shards with whoever's left. I've hung out with a couple of people a couple of times, but uh, there are some I have been lacking on. I think out of this group that's left, Maki's the one I've hung out with the most. Which I'm fine with. Maki's great. I love Maki. But uh, I'm, I'm hopelessly not friends with anybody else, really. <laughs> And we've also got our love suite key, so we're going to have to see what happens with that. But let's fire up the game and we'll do a little bit of gambling. Gamble away my life savings. Oh, please let me escape green hell. Here we go. Uh, extras. So... Because we're hanging out with people, I probably should do a couple rounds on the Mono Mono machine. Just to get some, uh, some prizes. So I have presents to give people. Fun book of animals. Oh, I got a lot of coins. Bird food. Man, these are like Himiko presents if I've ever seen them. Monkey's pot. I'm sure somebody likes that. Work chair of doom. Ooh! Ooh, what I get, what I get, what I get. Sugar, nice. Hey there, JJ, and thank you for the sub. The resub. I know, half a year, it's crazy. That's the, like, this month was, uh, I guess, the one year anniversary of me starting uh, Twitch streaming. It's crazy. I'm really happy with how far we've gotten, though. I've played through, uh,. Coming up on three murder games. My very first Paper Mario game. Oh, whoops. Helps if I put a coin in, huh? Gun of Men's Passion. Aw, oh, and thank you, Qua, for the sub. Appreciate it. <laughs> Flower of Floromancy. I keep getting Himiko presents. I think that's a sign. Actually, you know what? Out of whoever's left, I've probably hung out with Himiko and Maki the most. But I like- I like Himiko now, so I'm fine with this. Let's go to the casino. But hopefully you guys are having a good night, enjoying your Monday. We're sort of having flip-flopping weather where I am right now. Started off really nice, and now, uh, not so nice. Very full showers, Mayflowers, the whole bit. Alright, Mono Mono Slots. Let's redeem ourselves. Let's do this. Oh, Kokichi's having a great time. But Kokichi's one of those people who only has a good time when everybody's miserable. <laughs> so I don't think that counts. Ooh. Bonus games. Ooh, five bonus games. All right, let's see what we get. Big money. Nothing. Okay, let's try it again. Come on. Wow. I don't 
know why I tried the mono slots. It hates me. <laughs> I have better luck at real slot machines than I do with mono mono slots. Come on. Oh, finally. Got something. Okay, so I'm doing... Let's do one more... See, it heard me. It heard me doubting it, and it's like, okay, just give her some money. Give her some pennies, and we'll be fine. One more. Famous last words. Last one! Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, but it is about time for us to get started, so... Maybe we'll head out. Didn't have as much casino time today, but that's okay. I don't need a lot of money. Look at that. I got $10,789. I'm good. If I, worst case scenario, if I have to buy another love suite key, I can do that. Not a big deal. Yeah, out of whoever's left. Oh, who are we getting the love suite with, guys? Oh, no. We're not getting any repeats because uh, we already had Gonta and uh, Gonta's not here anymore. Oh, poor Gonta. Nobody deserved to go out like that. Gonta was done dirty. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> See. <sighs> My adorable Mono Cubs. Just hold that thought, Monokuma. I've been debating about getting back into Attack on Titan, because I did, I watched the first season in a bit. I read the manga for quite a while between season one, season two, and I know it's gotten really good. Everybody has said it has gotten really good, and it's like, I want to get back into it, but at the same time, I also finally want to start Demon Hunter, so... Or Demon Slayer, rather. I haven't started that either. I'm, I'm finally getting around to some series that I just haven't gotten around to yet, and it's like... Everybody's like, they're all so good, and it's like, I can really only watch a few series at a time, otherwise, like... Like, I invest myself in, like, one or two things at a time. That's my laser focus. That's why when I stream, I tend to play one game at a time. But in any case... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I think I saw the, the explanation in Attack on Titan behind how things were, and I just remember I was reading it, and my eyeballs were looking at it, and I was not absorbing it at all. <laughs> I'm like, I... I don't understand, but maybe with more context, it'll make more sense and it'll flow better. I really should give it another shot, but in any case, Monokuma is mourning the death of his children. Such a heart-wrenching moment, guys. Little Monotaro, little Mono Funny, little Mono Dumb, and, and the, the rest. rest. <laughs> Yeah, like everybody has said Demon Slayer is amazing. Get back into Attack on Titan, finish it, it's amazing. And it's like, like all my anime YouTubers are like, these are the shows you gotta watch. And it's like, I know, but I I just finished Hunter x Hunter. So it's like, now now I've freed up some room. I, I can take on a new series now. Hey there, Olaf. Welcome back to the stream. Man, there's just too much to watch. Like, there is just not enough time. There are too many series. A bunch of them are really good. My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. I told them, make the most of your life, because you only get one shot at it. That's mean of Monokuma not to allow his children, like, extra lives, in a sense. That is true. Um, Shadow and Bone? No, I have not watched Shadow and Bone. I did see it pop up on Netflix, and I know some people who are watching it who have read the books and are enjoying it so far. I have not, I have not stuck my toes into that one yet. But yes, I will get to the Danganronpa anime uh, once I'm done to Spare Girls, I guess. <laughs> Which, I'm getting there. It's slowly but surely. Oh, nice. Are the, bo are the books good? No. Why did they take their lives for granted? Hey 
there, Kay. Welcome back to the stream. If only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder <laughs> to earn my love. But they hate me, so they died. It's all their fault. Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. <laughs> okay, that's fair. It's world building. To sell merchandise. It's What's those merchandising. Anyway? To sell those Burger King burgers. I love how even Monokuma's just like, yeah, I mean, village without passion or purpose. Oh boy. That's a, that's promising. The morning after Gonta was declared the blackened, we gathered in the dining hall, as always. Yes, those murder king, those Monotaro burgers. Man, this is it, huh? Oh no, there's Kokichi too. As always? No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. Oh, yeah. It just wasn't a good time. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright, trying to cheer us all up. Jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know? I'm too stupid to die. Aw, that's my bro. Hey, are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. <laughs> yep, just sleep it off. I know. Well, she didn't give her consent for that, but... Mm. I was gonna say, Mew probably wouldn't worry too much about consent, but I'm, I'm not gonna get into that debate. That is a whole other thing. I'm not getting into that. I'm just saying Mew's a kinky person. Huh. I'm 100% better now. Liar. 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 But... <laughs> but there's no way you'd get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. Ah. I told you, didn't I? Just cough too much and cut my throat a little. That's all. Um, are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Oh, a hundred percent. Like he's gonna turn around the corner and just be just like, Kuh. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. <laughs> no. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. Just cause you all love me and can't help yours. <sighs> of course we'd be worried. My bad, but I'm serious, you don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. Come on, man. Okay, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat. Yeah, come on guys, let's all eat. Kaido spoke cheerily, then left to go get his meal. Is there really nothing wrong? There is obviously something wrong. With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Hmm. Despite Kaito's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. I guess. Now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. But escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? We still don't know what the secret of the outside world is, either. Um, Gonta wouldn't tell us what it was because it'd give us so much despair we'd want to die. What was that? I if that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Mm -hmm. Kaito returned to the table, his hands full of food. Hands? You get a plate! I have food! I mean... It's spaghetti! <laughs> Can't figure out just thinking about it, so there's no point wasting your brain power. But, but we can't simply not think about... You know, sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Kokichi and Gonta just snapped under that pressure. The 
The outside world's probably fine. Hmm. Yep, totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just don't, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. You. You're such an optimist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me, too? <laughs> I know I've said it a million times, but I love new Himiko. Uh... It's just spaghetti sauce. Mom spaghetti. I think you mean optimist. But you know... Either way, that's something to think about once we get outside, so focus on that now. Shuichi! As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Uh, I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Since the incident yesterday, Kaito won't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other options. Why do they have to show us this every time? This is dire. Your <laughs> translation, I have no idea. <laughs> mm. <laughs> My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gonta as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where'd he go? Kokichi. Huh? The instant Kaito spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. No. I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. Hmm. Check the sewers. The troll is hiding in the sewers. He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um, we can't just let that person... B, he's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little, because he... Yeah. He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. How annoying. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. Ironic, the rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Maki roll, that's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. <sighs> I know. Nah? nah? Is Maki roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. What? Where have you been? We've been calling her Maki roll forever. <laughs> it makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki roll? Oh, she's gonna. Mm, no, nah, she, she she doesn't like that. She, she doesn't like that. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. Hey. Hey. If we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. I bet even now he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. No. No. Actually, we're safe right now. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. But... But he might be planning a way to make us suffer some other way. Like how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... Speak of the devil and he appears? No, it's Monokuma. The other devil. Here I am! Yeah, yeah Monokuma! Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I've got business with you guys, of course. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Can do. Hmm. You're being awfully compliant. Oh, yeah. Of course, I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Oh. Outnumbered? Well. But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. <laughs> you just ain't gonna romp a one, though. <laughs> anyway, here's your prize this time. Ooh. You get two keys. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. Last real key, and the real last key. Well, what's the difference? That's my, that's what I want to know. Now then, 
Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye -bye. See you later, Mayonara. Real last, real rest, little key. <laughs> that would be if it was like um, the rhythm game options at the end. Rest, Leal key. Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> no. Meat on the spike what bone. Meat on the steak bone. So, what should we do about this new area? I, I think we should prioritize searching for the new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why you? So you're saying humans are low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. Wow, the robophobia in here. Probably. Um, I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey. What do you want to do, Kaito? Yeah. I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. Alright, all right, our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be a twist? Alright, uh, I'll hold on to that. Okay. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaito placed the key into my palm. <laughs> Buddy, no! Good morning! <laughs> Gee, Tao, what time is it where you are? Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. We're having a fight? Well... Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine, so let's go already. We split up and began our search. Alright, uh, now let's see... I imagine it's the fifth floor, so we'll try going up. Let's see here. Nope. Not that way. Uh, here we go. If you're wondering, is Froggy lost again? The answer is always yes. Always yes. <laughs> I never know where I'm going. Alright. Going this way. Go east. <laughs> I'll let you know, Qua. I'm just gonna see if I can find it on my own first, but I I might need some assistance. We will see. See how far I get. Uh, it's the computer room. And there's some stairs. Or wait, was that the top floor? Ooh. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, this might be it, actually. Uh, crap, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, those strawberry house flashbacks. Ugh. Hey, you. Hey. I see you. Whoop. I can't look down, though. There we go. Gotcha. Aw, man. All right. Um, yeah, that's mine. Here we go. Imagine it's this one. Hmm. hmm, the key works, but it won't turn. Could it be ticking? Oh no. Sensing danger, I hurriedly backed away from the door and then it exploded. A trap? That was dangerous. Hmm. I could have really been hurt. The key, it's still here. Can it be used for something else? Yeah. <laughs> Red rum. All right. So I still have the key. Whose room is this? Yeah. <laughs> That's not impalement, but it's pretty good. From the look of the store, this must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? There are only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. All right. I should check inside. 
When I turn the knob... Hmm? hmm? It won't open. Ah. Just slingshots in there. Yeah. Oh, that research lab is closed because its owner is dead. What? No dice. Yeah. Huh? The owner is dead? For the rules, if a student dies before their research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed. That's that's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. That's because this is the first time I've mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway, if this lab belongs to someone who died, yeah. is this Rantaro's lab? Aww. How disappointing. You'd know what his talent was if you went in his lab. <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. Huh? What does that mean? Hmm? Yes, what does that mean? That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh, no. oh well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. Hey, that's Kaede. Hey, hey. Rantaro's lab. I am curious about his talent, but it's too late now. Dang. Okay. Um, hmm. Then where else can I go? Um. Is this supposed to be here? Or is this a, a mistake? What is... Uh, no, it doesn't look ominous at all. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, is that debris? What is, what is this? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wait, is there any more? Is there any more here? Or is that it? Oh, wow. Yep, there's a, there's a little problem here. I'm guessing from the explosion, but I didn't know it, like actual... <laughs> hey there, Ender Quantum. Yep, I'm getting a refund. <laughs> There's just these two chunks of wall floating here. I can't interact with them. I go right through them, but they're definitely still here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I was like, is that a clue? Nope, it's just a it's just a slight glitch. Okay. Well, I guess I better try and figure out where this goes. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Um, so I might ask for a hint if where I'm supposed to go next is inside the school or if it's outside. I'll, I'll keep it at that and I'll narrow it. Oh, there is something else on this floor. Okay, is it, is it this mysterious floating debris? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hmm. Let's try the other side. Oh, okay. There isn't anything else. Okay. Heavy implications for Tenkenrumpa's lore. He can't control grasp. It's outside his grasp. Um, okay, so there's nothing inside. Okay, so we'll try going outside. I do like the wings. Those do look cool. You know what? We're gonna fast travel out of here. So we'll head outside. Ooh, there's a little... Really? Fine. Nope. Sure. Meet up with the others. Oh! Okay. Kohichi's door. This is so awkward. Kaido still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is going to be awkward. Ugh, gotta get over this awkwardness. What if we get the love suite with him? Then it's gonna be super weird. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. <laughs> the ultimate corpse, Rantaro. <laughs> yep, they're just standing there. Judging. <laughs> no. 
I'm not sure. It's possible that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. But I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. Yeah, but you do it for money. Hey! Don't see it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try to change. That's the worst decision you can make. You're right. True. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... <sighs> this is so awkward. I hate this. No! Our little friend group is falling apart. Himiko. Himiko, talk to me. Jeez. Looks like Kaido's still upset with you. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Hey, Shuichi. Baka. He needs to get over himself, but you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi. What happened to Gonta? No one could sort out their feelings in just one night. That's quite insightful, actually. Um... Oh! I was taking a guess. It's unlocked. Let's go! <gasps> See a spiral staircase. Looks pretty long. Yeah, there we go. She's getting smarter. It's all that bird seed. Where does the staircase lead? Man, those lucky people who have like the multi floor labs. Him and Korakio, man. This is pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? Um, I mean, I'd keep going if you if you let me. Wait, is this a trick? Am I just? Oh, there is a top. Okay, Whew, finally reached the top. Feel as if there's something there. It's best to be cautious. Yeah, what is? Okay, I was like, can I go over the edge? Oh god, somebody's gonna drop down there. Wait, that's Kaito's. Got it. Finally, it looks like my research lab. Oh. Kaito? Nah, those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. Well, Tenko's not here to help you anymore. They made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Hey. What do you mean just? This is the main stage and it's finally been revealed! Hey! I'm tired! Hey, someone give me a piggyback ride! Hey! Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in there. Probably. Don't screw around! What do you mean probably? It's gotta be full of super important stuff! Hey! Hey! Isn't anyone gonna give me a piggyback ride? Shut up! Shut up! I'm not gonna give you a piggyback ride! <laughs> what is this conversation? <laughs> um... Uh... Let's go inside, then. Oh, let's go. <gasps> That's cool! <gasps> They're on the moon! Or Mars! Ooh, a planetarium device. It's a large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. You can project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Oh, I love those. Wait. <gasps> I'm destroying the Mars base. Okay. Alright, that's it for breakables. This is amazing. Looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You. You can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. Yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. What reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You should drive with me, Himiko. I only hit every pedestrian. You know... And only sometimes hit other cars. But wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. Nah. nah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? The ultimate exosol. At that moment, 
Hey. Hey, come look at this. Huh? Hmm? Something wrong? Well... I found this in the back. Huh? What is that? What is this, a file? The gopher project? Like, go for the stars? <laughs> Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. Hmm. So this file has information about the project? What? So what does it say? Uh, okay. Hold on, I'll read it. Uh, Let's hmm. see. The Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. <gasps> that is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Hey! It's, it's short for go for it. <laughs> well, what is the rest of it? What about the rest of it? What'd it say? Hey. Don't tease us, just say it already. Well, that's... The rest of it is blacked out. I can't read any further. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say? Damn. Did Monokuma do this? Oh, damn it, he's just screwing with us. Hey. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? And what's this about the new world? Is this? This is like Noah's Ark. Huh? huh? Noah's Ark? Because. No, well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. <gasps> oh. So... What? Oh yeah, you're right! Okay. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible, but to choose that name in particular... Hmm. ...does seem related. But how is all this related to the Academy? To us? Yeah. Shh, none of that makes any sense. Well... If we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. Hmm. Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. Alright! So it must be somewhere else. We gotta go look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Cause we gotta find the flashback light. Flashback light. Our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess there's nothing really else to look at here. Just seeing if there's any secret Monokumas here. Nah, I think that's it. Let's go. So we've got one more key. Hmm. Hey there, infamous god. Welcome back. Oh god, we gotta go down all these stairs. Can I just jump? Can I just, can I just take the shortcut? Oh god. Getting vertigo here. 4F. Oh! I didn't notice the, uh, the floor designations there. Wait. Hmm, it's the top one. There, sixth floor. Okay. Interesting. Fifth floor. Just in case I have to remember this. Third. This might takes forever. We just went up like six floors in one go. Yeah, what is this thing? Oh, okay, there's nothing other there. All right. Well. So I guess this wasn't Kokichi's. We were probably going to be able to... Actually, no, we, we still needed the key for this one. Interesting. Okay. Um, so we still have Kokichi's, but we have a key. Um, where is everybody? Nope. Oh, I can go right there. Oh, dang it. Really? All right, not the basement. Yeah, we'll go to the first floor. Take a shortcut. Although, uh, looking for the uh, hidden Monokumas, I might need some help. 
greenery is completely gone. This place really feels mechanical now. Looks like construction's almost done, but what happens then? Yeah, there's no exosols left to work on this. An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? <sighs> Probably, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, we're racing. So I thought I saw the others down here. There, there. Got Smoogie. Uh, but we've only got two last keys. We would have been better off with a thief's key and a magic key. Huh? Huh? Why is that? Um, oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. Ooh, need some water. Ah, there we go. But how many times has this happened now? What do you mean? The class trial ends, we get Monokuma's prizes, and then we search for a new area. You know, that same flow over and over. And the fact that all the murders keep happening in the areas we discover. I sort of thought, maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But, but to solve the mystery of this academy, we're gonna have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Of course, I know we need to do that too. All right, I'm just going to stop worrying about it. We need to live for Gota and everyone else and escape this place. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, All right, then I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. And off she goes. I think Kibo's over this way. Oh, there he is. Kibo! Um, there aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, correct? There is a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in. There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. Come on, mouse. Hey there, Linksar. Welcome back to the stream. Where? Oh. Ha. Huh, that. Looks like a door, but I don't think I could open this with my bare hands. Uh. Hmm. In there? Hmm. I'm doing pretty good, enjoying my Monday. Hopefully you're doing alright where you are, enjoying- Oh, there it is. The doi. Kibo, Sumugi's, and Shuichi's laps. Ooh, thank you. I appreciate it, JJ. But first, let's use the real last key. That sound. Was that the giant door unlocking? Uh, thick metal door. Oh, come on. <laughs> Go operate, mouse. All right, let's do it. Cyber Courtyard. Oh, what is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. You're already a robot, Kibo. <laughs> Hints allowed? Uh, no. I'm, I'm wandering. If I need help, I will ask for it. Took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. I bet it was going to be something robophobic. Uh, okay. There will be points where I likely will need help, so um, you will have an opportunity to help me then. Shuichi, don't be robophobic. Oh my god, Shuichi, you're so robophobic. How'd you get all the way in here so fast? This is different from the other places we've seen so far. And this maze-like hallway, perhaps it's to defend the building that it leads to. Yep, hashtag robophobic. Shuichi gets cancelled. What is this? This definitely looks like an arena. I feel very, uh, uncomfortable here. I'm, I'm getting out. 
Getting flashbacks to some of the arenas and uh, despair girls there. Some giant robot's gonna pop out. I feel like that's a thing, but it is not clickable, so I'm going to have to ignore it. What is this? The shutter is huge. This is. <laughs> Seems to be well fortified. Hmm. That is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey. If they're projecting, if they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some secret in there. Yes. That's a possibility. Let's investigate to see if we can get in. Ah. Oh. Wait. It's dangerous. Don't. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Oh no, Kibo, Kiboy, why? Before I could finish my warning, Kibo approached the shutter and... <laughs> what is this? Kibo. Kibo, get away from the... Hey. Oh my, tisk tisk tisk. Don't you go setting off the alarm now. Okay. Come on, come on, out of the way so I can turn off that alarm. a job for the grown-ups. Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful. Huh? Be careful? What was that alarm for? It was so loud. Yeah. Oh, that's the alarm system. Yeah, you think? You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> this place is so important that it needs to be beef that it needs beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain that electric barrier. Hey, to turn it off, you gotta enter a 59-digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. Oh no, should I get out a pen and paper, guys? I, it's probably not gonna matter, but part of me is like, do I need paper for this? Yeah, here we go. Time to watch Froggy write down 59 letters. Okay. Five. Oh. Three. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Should I actually write this down? Five, oh, three, nine, three, four. This might be like eight, five, seven. If I say. Three, six, two. This might be stupid. Like this is this five six nine two eight five eight. God. Oh, probably, probably. I'm I'm paranoid, so I'm writing it down. My terrible handwriting. Eleven oh three seven nine five nine. I should probably just screenshot it. Three. Nine. Why am I writing it down? I can just take a picture. Alright. <laughs> Man, JJ just showing me up here. Okay. Hey! Wait, slow down, please. 503. What was the rest? <laughs> only, no, only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. Good old fashioned way of writing it down. Got my camera phone. What am I doing? <laughs> an electric barrier in an alarm system. That's pretty tight security. Why? What are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Here. Like I said, this is a very important place. Well, <laughs> it used to be important, but that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Pointless? Yep, yeah. it's pointless, so I may as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm above the shutter. Oh, how's that all? Right. 
See? It turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now just use the control panel to deactivate the electric barrier and you can go inside. Hmm. Um, can you repeat the code you mentioned earlier? Hmm? How annoying. But since it's your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. Monokuma walked up to the control panel, quickly punched in the numbers, and... Okay. There! Okay. okay, now you can- now you just gotta manually raise the shutter and you can go inside. You can either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and electric barrier, or just use the control panel out here, or do nothing and the barrier and alarm will stay off. Well then, save travels! I don't like how readily he gave that to us. He just led us into this highly secured area. What's his game? Killing game. Shuichi! Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction to move but forward. My inner voice is telling me, hope moves forward. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Oh, what are we gonna find? Oh, was that in there? Oh, it was. Haha. <laughs> uh, over there, it's... In Exosol? All five of them are here. It's too dangerous. Let's run. Wait a second. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us. And the lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. Uh, <laughs> surprised? This is actually the Exosol hangar. Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. A facility for storing Exosols? This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. But, uh, it's pointless now. Is it because the monocups are gone? No one, no one can control the Exosols anymore. What? No one can control them anymore. Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, uh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Hey there, Celestia Ludenberg. <sighs> well, because they were definitely hiding it from us at that point. Do not mock me. What does that mean? Now, now, don't get so worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. These classifications of robots. The deactivated exosols. Is this hangar pointless now that the monocubs are gone? If that's true, is nothing threatening us anymore? Hmm. I don't know. Hydraulic press. This is a huge, powerful machine. That's... This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yes, even the exosols could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. You're right. True. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press using that control panel over there. Hmm. There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. Hmm, I feel like this is gonna come into play. <laughs> Pretty much. So much robophobia in this game. There's a safety notice written here. Uses an infrared sensor. For safety reasons, this device will come to a halt when the sensor detects a living organism. <gasps> oh no, it's gonna be used to kill Kibo! The hydraulic press has an infrared sensor. When it detects a living being, it automatically stops for safety reasons. That's true. Someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Um... What do you think, Shuichi? Huh? Of the safety function? I... don't know. Well then... Let's give it a try. Let's not. Uh... Um... Hmm? Try what? As I stood there confused, Kipo suddenly got under the press... No! You... No... I don't like this. Oh no. Shuichi, please. Please what? Please end my life. 
apparently. <laughs> we're, we're squishing Kibo today. If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? This is... I get you want to prove that you are a person. And I imagine there's a part of you that also wants to find out if you're a person. No. <laughs> let's find out. No, let's not. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. It won't. It won't work. This is going to end very badly. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. No, you won't. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. <laughs> rust in peace. <laughs> Kibo, no. He's not going to change his mind about this. Well, too bad. He can't press the button and lie in there. I'm just going to leave. Okay, let's do it. No. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? It's already dangerous. He's got to get out. I don't like this. Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Oh no, I'm the killer, aren't I? Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I press the button like an idiot. And then... Oh no! Roll, 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 roll. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a toaster has been discovered. That was a close one. Wait. Yes, it was. Why did you do that? Why? Why didn't you press the four stop button, Shuichi? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. A piece of scrap has been discovered. It's not my fault. But, but at least we know now. It seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. For now. Well, to this hydraulic press, that is. And we all care what the hydraulic press thinks, don't we? You're right. Uh, yeah. God. It's not good for my heart. This looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exosols? This is... <laughs> it is also robophobic, while also being a robot. That seems comfortable. <laughs> comfortable, huh? Do you want to go for a spin wash, Kibo? Oh, look at the exosols. All five exosols are being stored here right now. They aren't moving at all. Are the exosols not going to move anymore? Are they no longer going to be used against us? Hmm, I wouldn't bet on that. Hmm, some of them are lowered, but some of them aren't. Ah, this control panel. That's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it. But there's no reason to turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch it. Are you saying that because I don't have the 59 digit code to reactivate it, to deactivate it memorized? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits? Is that what you're implying? No. Man, Kibo can't even have a friggin' pin card. Like a pin for his debit card. N no? All five exosols are being stored here. They aren't moving. It's just funny how they, it's not even just like exosols. It's exosol pink, exosol blue, exosol red. Uh, all right, let's check the creepy door. Oh, wait, can I break anything? Ah, dang it. There's nothing for me to break here. <laughs> what is this door? Let's find out. What is up with that toilet? 
Yep, I have to break something. If it's not gonna be Kibo, it's gotta be something else. This is a bathroom. Doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Well, It's Nekomaru's toilet. It's his throne. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here in a while. Oh man, this would be perfect! Monokuma and the Monocubs certainly don't need to use the bathroom. But then, why is there a bathroom here in the first place? They were under the impression we would never be here. Why make a bathroom? Hmm. <laughs> it's the only one that can handle him. Does that mean I was wrong? Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. Really? Because I feel like there's a lot here. Man, I can't break anything in here. There's a monitor in the bathroom. <laughs> it's the Iron Throne. <laughs> this looks like a space toilet. Okay. Hmm. Um. Okay. There's nothing else here, so I guess we'll go, but that's. Kibo, what do you think? I've always suspected that I'm perceived as just a machine. But it is rather harrowing to have that suspicion confirmed before my eyes. 100%. I may be just a machine to this press, but I'm sure other tests will confirm my humanity. What if we're all robots? Ah, uh, there's the press. It's a huge, powerful hydraulic press. I see. You're right. Okay, I think that's it. There's the car wash, there's the press, there's the various exosols, the operation panel, the bathroom door. Painting machine. Ooh, that's a new one. This huge machine has several moving arms. What is this used for? This, is... this machine is probably used to paint the exosols. You're right. Oh, right. It does kind of smell like paint thinner. Um which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. No. Hey, Mew offered to do that for you, too. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Then why bring it up? I've investigated everything here. This is definitely a hangar for the Exosols, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right. This place no longer has any purpose. Hey, Shuichi. There you are. I was looking for you. Hey. Hey, come to the dining hall. Tsumuki says she wants everyone to meet there. Huh? D she would. <laughs> huh? Tsumuki? Right. She told me she found something. It's probably the flashback light. Okay. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna go on ahead. The next flashback light. What will, we re what will we remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. All right. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it would dispense paint. Yes. All right. Um, let's cheat and go to the dining hall. Ah. Come on, other point, other point. There we go. Can I moonwalk in? Nope, I have to go in. It's worth a shot. <laughs> oh, right! I have to go to- wait, wait, wait. Actually, um, no, it probably won't let me. I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to go to Kibo's, because that's where the Monokuma's hiding, but I imagine it will not let me. Because Samugi wants to meet with us. Yeah, I'm going to water fast tonight. No sign of Kokichi. Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. Ah. Yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. What? Oh, sorry, it's not the flashback light. Huh? It's not? I honestly thought that's what this was all about. 
What's that mean? Then why did you call us all here? I had to go to the bathroom. No. Well, that's funny you mention it. I found a bathroom. I found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious? What did you find? Um, so what did you find? It's from that one thing! Those letters! Gonta found in the courtyard! There's more added to them again! Huh? The letters in the courtyard? Yeah! It looks like the message is complete now! We can finally read it! And it says... Do not believe his lies! This world is mine. Kokichi Oma. This world is mine. Kokichi Oma. That's what's written there. What? This world is mine? What's that mean? W what's going on? Why is Kokichi's name? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it means. It was all just a prank by Kokichi. Huh? A prank? He kept adding to that message just so he could make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. Nah, yeah, I see. That definitely seems like something Kokichi would do. That is true, but is that all there is to it? Horse A! <laughs> when Gontad first found the writing, all it said was... Horse A. Over time, more letters were added. Eventually, it read... This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Can we really just ascribe it to Kokichi's pranks? You know... Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Hmm... Yeah, you're pretty good, huh? <laughs> you almost did. Seems no one has found it yet. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault, too. He probably found it first and hid it. I see. Hmm, that is possible. Like I thought. We need to do something and find him. Ah. Nah, there's no need to bother with him. Best way to deal with guys like him is just ignore him. So let's just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but you were the angriest out of all of us. Nah, nah there was something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean... Did you hurt yourself? It's still a little too early to tell you guys, but... Leave it to me! Well, just leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. I'll figure it all out. Mm, I do not trust that boy. Come on, Kaito, let us in on it. What are you talking about? Figure out what? Hey, guys! I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaito's gonna get us out of here? Oh, is he gonna try and activate the ship? Nah, there's that reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless? Heh, <laughs> you guys just don't get it. Jeez, heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Hero or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course! Yeah, leave it to me. <sighs> okay. Perhaps Kaido's confidence is baseless. But it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in a time like this. A hero, he might really be one. Gosh, I hope so. Because otherwise, we're kind of screwed. We weren't able to find the flashback light. So we all left the dining hall. And returned to our rooms. <gasps> Free time? Still some time left today. Hmm. So what should I do? <gasps> okay. Well, first. First. <sighs> Had to clean up my room. Yes! Oh my god, good reminder there, JJ. Yes, because uh, we're going to be having a uh, mystery encounter. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> You have a very strange dream. So actually, um, I need to top up on some water. What I first... <laughs> so I'm gonna get a top up on some water real quick. Um, I'm gonna find the hidden Monokumas, because I know 
Somebody in the chat mentioned it earlier. And then I will let you guys pick who we're gonna be hanging out with first. I'm letting you guys have first pick. So while I'm gone for like the two, one minute, let me know in the chat who we're hanging out with so we have a plan. I'll be right back. All right, so we got one vote for Kaito, ya boy. It's your boy, Kaito. Ah, uh, time to be the sidekick. <laughs> the sidekick I was always meant to be. All right, so. Let's find those. Oh, it's, uh. Why is that glowing? Oh, because I had it selected, you silly goof. Okay, I just, I want to go to, there. Oh, wait, no. I wanted to go to the, dang it, no. No! I want to go to Sumugi. There. Because I have to go to Kibo's room. There we go. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Kibo's like, what are you doing in my room? Looking for a bear. There you are. I see you. Oh, it's got a little backpack. All right. Uh, next one is Sumugi's room. Yeah, we'll go there. I know it's the other end of the hallway, but hey there, Himiko. Where's he hiding it? Where's he hiding? Out of my way. I'm looking for a bear. There's so much slappables here. So many slappables. We went from no slappables to everything. Tsumugi comes in. What are you doing to my room? Shh, I'm cleaning. Ooh. <laughs> oh, there it is. No! I see you. Ha ha! Found him. All right. Come on, last chair. Don't, don't tease me, it's the last chair. Yes, okay. Um, and I'm trying to remember where that last one is. So, I got the one in the hallway. I got the one in Samuki's room. I got the one in Kibo's room. Uh, where's that last one again? Or is it in a game? The last one might be in a game. In the meantime, I will look for Kaito. Oh, there he is. Eyes with Maki. All right, guys. So this is the time to call it. We're, we're voting on Hangouts. I got two votes for Kaido. Somebody else has another suggestion. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I don't know how much more free time Hangouts we're gonna have. All right, we got another vote for Kaito. All right, well, I think we're going with Kaito, guys. I think I've got something I can give him. I just, I don't want this to be awkward. He's my bro, man. 
It's my man, bro. Oh, it's still awkward. It's no use. It's no use? I wouldn't even know what to say to him. Oh no! I can't hang out with Kaito! What? No! It's no use. No! Uh, okay, yeah, he hates me. But look, he's smiling at me right now. What the hell, Kaito? Um, okay, um, yeah, next, next K on the list then. What is it, Kokichi? I don't even know where he it or Kibo. <laughs> There's so many K names in this game. Alright, Maki or Himiko then for Kwa? Okay, I'd be cool with either of those. Uh, so Jay, is that a vote for Kibo? Cast your votes! Who are we hanging out with? Cause Kaito is not my friend anymore. Kaito is no longer my best friend. Kibo is my best friend now. Friendship has ended with Kaito. I think Maki's in here somewhere. Said she was in here. Alright, we gotta vote for Kibo. We gotta vote for Himiko. We gotta vote for Maki. What is this supposed to be? All right. Cast your votes in the chat. We'll decide who we're hanging out with. Oh, there she is. Because, I mean, if it's my choice, I'm probably going to hang out with Maki. So, it's between Himiko and Kibo, unless somebody wants to throw another name into the into the running there. I'm just running through this right now. Alright. Let me see if I can flip a coin here. Because I will flip a coin if I have to. Alright. I got a nickel here. Yeah, here we go. Alright. We're gonna say... Heads is, he is Himiko. Tails is Kibo. Alright. I'm terrible at catching these. Heads is Himiko. Tails is Kibo. We got heads, baby! We're gonna learn some magic today. There she is. Himiko. There's only seven of us. No wonder the dining hall feels so big now. Should I hang out with Himiko for a while? Illusion rod, flame thunder, bird food. Oh, I, I know I got bird food. I think I just got some today. Going to Mew. They were both loud people. Now it's too quiet here. Makes me think too much. Aw, oh, Himiko. I spent some quiet time with Himiko. And she's like, can you just scream for a while to make it a little less quiet? Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes! I know I got some bird food. 66. I got three bird food. All right. Oh. oh, you clearly know what's important for a mage. Hmm, as thanks, I'll show you some of my magic. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> she looks really bothered by something. Hey. Uh, Himiko, there's something I wanted to ask you. Yeah, yeah my magic's a trade secret. No. No, that's not it. I was wondering why you became a magician. Ooh. Uh, um, uh, sorry. A mage. He said you had a master. Did he inspire you? Hmm. When I saw my master use his magic, I awakened as a mage. Is that all right? Uh, just making sure, but... Did your master also say he was a mage, not a magician? What are you saying? Huh? My master is known around the world as a legendary mage. Hmm. I see. Himiko insisting she's a mage is probably her master's influence. Okay. 
The first time I saw my master was on the stage during his magic show. The magic he performed was miraculous. Seeing it triggered the magic powers sleeping within me to awaken. But I didn't yet have the skill to control such powerful magic. Mm. Therefore, I studied under my master to control my own magic. Mm. I see. I'm a mage. Fortunately, it only took a few years of training to become a full-fledged mage. Also, it cost me $50,000. Master let me help in his show as an assistant while I trained. My master taught me the fundamentals of magic. Because he trained me, people started calling me the ultimate mage. She's actually the ultimate magician, but I probably shouldn't bring that up. How about that? My master learned his magic by studying around the world, you know? Extreme wind magic, levitation, extreme space magic, teleport. Extreme meat magic, sawing a person in half, and many more. Extreme meat magic? Doesn't sound very magical. <laughs> My master made them all look so simple, but they were hard for me to grasp. I want to teach you the basics, but the stars aren't aligned right now, so... Hmm. Oh, I see. That's fine. Yeah, so in return, this ultimate mage will answer any question for you. A question? Ooh, let me think. <gasps> no, I'm not doing that first one. It's not real magic, right? When people get sawed in half, what if a fly gets in your teleportation? <laughs> I'm not asking the first one. That first one is mean. Um, I'm gonna ask her when people get sawed in half. I'm not gonna ask her about the movie The Fly. Have you met Jeff Goldblum? Hey. When people get sawed in half, how do you put them back together? No. Nah, it's with magic, you know? Like, you activate the cells and, well, something like that. You probably wouldn't get it. Okay. Don't think, feel. Hmm. Is that right? But In any case, I'm sure your master is worried about you right now. Hmm? Is something wrong? Himiko's mood changed. You're right. Well, maybe. He might be worried. Hmm. Himiko? What a pain. I'm too tired to talk. I'm going back to my room. Oh, Himiko. Okay. Uh, okay. See you later then. That's it? No, I swear I had more shards than that with Himiko. I've hung out with her a bunch of times. Do you lose shards? I watched Himiko walk away and I returned to my room. Himiko was acting strange for a minute there. I wonder what's wrong. I swear I had more fragments than that. Really? I swore I hung out with Himiko. Mm, oh. Maybe. Because I thought I hung out with Himiko a couple of times. At least. There's still some time. What should I do? I... Hold on, I need to save, and then I need to find Maki. Okay. Oh, there she is. Come on. There we go. Maki's just out here trying to admire that Monokuma statue. Hey. I wonder, why were the Gopher Project documents in Kaito's research lab? Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yes! Why? Monokuma must have put them there for a reason. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, is there anything else we missed? We should check again. Maki and I investigated Kaito's lab one more time. There's nothing. I looked. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes! Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, in the 90s. Oh, goodness. Okay. 
and home planet. Oh, I have none of those. That is weird. Is she an alien? Okay. I know I got some, here we go. I got some oolong tea. I got some boba tea. Yeah, I'm gonna give her the boba. Yeah, she likes the boba. Hmm. Hmm. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Just imagine, like, he's just rummaging through his pockets. And he's like, would you like a drink? <laughs> I've also got tea. <laughs> and sugar <laughs> in my pocket. You want some bird seed? Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. No worries. Hey, hey. You look like you want to ask something. Huh? I do? <sighs> well, whatever. I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything. But I can't take back what I said. Hey. hey. You're wondering who that girl is, right? She was a close friend from the orphanage. Hmm. A close friend? What is it? Why do you look so relieved? Hmm. Uh, I do? Weirdo. Yeah, you do. It's gross. Gross? Oh. Uh, I'm um... just glad that you have a friend like that in your life. Oh, I don't have her in my life anymore. She's dead. Hmm. hmm, I see. So that's why you're making a gross face. Back at the orphanage, I was a normal kid. Is she angry about something? Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. So what? It's fine. Um. Then what did you mean when you said she would take your place? I see. The scouts had their eyes on her first, not me. Huh? What? Because. I had enough talent, but she had even more talent. She was very kind, a crybaby who easily got lonely but tried to be strong. If she had been taken to such a place, then she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin. But I endured the training. If she had gone through this, she would have died. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. So she wasn't just doing it for the orphanage, it was for her friend as well. Okay. Being with her was really fun. We would wear matching outfits, bake sweets, and exchange them. We would get in trouble with our teacher because we would talk late into the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. She would play as the mom, and I would play as the dad. Well, neither of us knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. Ooh. Ooh, it's this one or this one. So it was fun, huh? Or that's surprisingly cute. Because admittedly, the top one is what was going through my head, but I know there's no wrong answers, so... I'm gonna go with that's surprisingly cute. That's that's surprisingly cute. What is it? What are you saying? Don't say things like cute. That kind of thing doesn't exist in my heart. B Baka, I don't even like you, idiot. No. No, I really think so. I'm sure you would make a good dad. Shut up. Shut up. Stop imagining whatever it is you're thinking. Oh wait. Gotta save. Because it's, it's, it might be time. <laughs> oh, who are we gonna get, guys? Oh, if we even get one tonight, we'll see. Maki shared more stories about the orphanage with me. Deep down, Maki is just like any of us. Now what are we doing? Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. The time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun. Killers, this is your chance to strike. <sighs> Victims, you have my condolences. Kinda, but not really. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishes? So dramatic. Either way, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Bayonara. It's nighttime. Okay, I can save here. I know I'm saving a lot. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm getting it at a point where if I need to restart it, we're not re-watching the same thing. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, it's nighttime. I would have been training, 
Kaito was being a jerk. Huh? Who's there? Maki! Got a minute? Do you have a minute? Hmm. Maki? What's wrong? Well... Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Huh? Your lab? <sighs> Might as well show him since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. I guess no sweet time tonight, guys. She wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. No, I think I am missing another bear. Actually, I'll just fast travel. Oh, wait, there's people out. Oh, that must be it. Okay. Oh, Samugi's out. Hey. Um, Samugi, what are you looking up at the sky for? Huh? Oh, Shuichi, I was just looking at the stars a little. I remembered something Gonta said before. What did Gonta say? Yeah. Remember? After Kurumi's trial. Now that she mentions it. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But stars here are different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Actually... I was just thinking, the stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me... I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. You're right. I need to thank Gonta. You're right. You're right. Hey. Hey, do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. Uh, sorry, there's something I had to take care of. I see. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. Who's over here? Oh, Kibo. Everybody's up. Shuichi! It's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing out and about at this hour? Okay. I promised to meet up with Maki. I see. I see. Well... Well, I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time on the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. Feels like we formed the student council with Angie ages ago. Yeah, it's almost like it was, like, over a month ago. <laughs> A lot of things have happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. Um... At any rate, please be careful. Being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Especially now, when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. You're right. I'll be careful. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up to the fourth floor. Oh, it really won't let- Oh no, I'm locked in. Okay, okay. Actually. Will it let me from here? Can I go? Ah! Fine. Alright. I've been locked in. Okay. Maki's lab. Uh, sorry I'm late. Huh? Uh, okay. uh, oh, so you came too? Yeah, I was invited. Uh, okay. What are you doing here? Yeah. Oh, this is so awkward. Silence. <sighs> I'm with Maki. As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. Wow, it is dire times. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Ah. Oh, no worries. Welcome back. You haven't missed too much. Uh, we hung out with Himiko, and then we hung out with Maki, and Kaito's still being weird. Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. You know, just, just one look-see, you know, no reason or anything. What? Why would you want to see my weapon? You know... Oh, wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these, Maki Roll? I see. Yes, more or less. So... 
There's no swords of any kind here. Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched a mission with a katana. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I got a plan figured out. Huh? Oh, what's in that black case over there? That is sex yeah, that is quite sexist. I don't agree with that. As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far bookcase. You, you opened up that can of worms there, Kaito. You gotta deal with that. What's in it? What's in it? Some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm, let's see. Then Kaito pulled something from the black case. What's this? It's a bunch of parts. Oh, it's a crossbow. I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. Mm. Ah, so when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Maki Roll, can you teach me how to put it together? No. Sure, whatever. Sure, I don't mind. Put this and this together. Normally, I like these bonding times with us. I don't like this. This is off to me. Um, like this? And then, put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... Man, I'm just like third wheel in here. What am I doing here? While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh. <laughs> I missed my chance. Kaito struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. You know, that old relationship milestone there. Holding hands, going on your first date, putting together a crossbow together for the first time. I mean, it's classic. Whoa, since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So what? It doesn't matter who builds it, though. That's right. Seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it myself next time. Hey. Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No. Uh, no, that's alright. I sort of understand from watching, anyway. Hmm. Then let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Y yeah, s sorry, I don't feel too good again. Oh, that's convenient. What? Huh? Seems I'm not at 100%, so I'm gonna go back first. Got a minute? Hey! Just gonna dip. <laughs> See ya! Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Yeah, she's pissed. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. How, annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well, well that's just Kaito. You're the worst, too. Huh? Huh? Well... I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. <laughs> Take responsibility for your baby that you've built. But... But... I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. I'm going to... If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I... I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I just... I need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. <laughs> Man, Maki's just being, like, the patron saint of our group now. <laughs> just like, you guys are the worst and I hate you. <laughs> sorry. But now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. It's, for what? I don't even care, idiots. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. Just in case. I'm gonna do a quick save. Yep, that's it. That's her. <laughs> Just that, that natural, like, caring... Well, actually, here we go. 
I wasn't going there for a minute. She said she was used to being the dad when they would play house. So maybe. After I had finished, I returned to my room. We're just gonna go to the next day, aren't we? Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kaito. All right. I need to make up with him. For us. And for Maki. Fell asleep thinking about it. Oh no. Damn it. You're sick. Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I, I still haven't gone to, to space. We might be in space, Kaito. Damn it. We might be on the moon. Ah, Monokuma Theater. <laughs> Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful, I want to print the words Reckless Beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. That's what makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations. It's what makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. That's quite an inspirational thing. Oh, Hero should be asleep on the job. It's pathetic. Ah. Ah. <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Wait. Oh, well, let me. Okay. Good morning. Although it's technically still night, do you feel well rested anyway? Huh? Really got a blood, actually. Yeah. Monokuma. <laughs> nice face, Shuichi. You definitely look your best in the morning. Too bad. You could look better, though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? <laughs> How rude. My time is very valuable, you know. Since you fell asleep, still clutching the love key. <gasps> Guys! I went out of my way to come wake you. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, um... Love key? You mean this thing I won at the casino? Yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. I'll tell you how to use it. Huh? How to use it? <laughs> <laughs> that key opens the way to a very special place. Time for love! A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Oh, right. That building. Suppose it would have this kind of key. <laughs> you look like you figured it out. Good, a healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. <laughs> that key you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Huh? Huh? Oh, are you starting to get all worked up? Are you ready to let it all hang out? God damn it, Monokuma. Now then, please read the instructions. It's time for the talk. The love key talk. Night falls, you and one other person will be invited to the love suite. There you will be part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal and basically just swoon all over you. It's a dream that lets you escape this cruel, dark reality. That's why it's so important to play the role that person wants you to. If you do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. And what happens there stays there. Memories are wiped when you exit. It's like a one-night stand within a dream. Probably best that you both forget it. That's it. Stay safe. Enjoy. Hmm? hmm? You seem skeptical. Why don't you try it, out for, try it out for yourself, then? Go ahead. Take that love key out for a spin. <laughs> now then, let love take hold of you. It'll make you sweeter than a bear's honeypot. 
I watched Monokuma bounce away, stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Hmm. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Oh, who are we getting, guys? Who are we getting? <gasps> okay, well, yes. We're using... I think... I, I'll ask chat. Would you guys like me to use the love key right now? We have it. I have saved it. So I can always reload it if I really want to save the key. I'm curious, though, if you reloaded it at this point, would you get somebody different? All right. Well, it's definitely going to be somebody new because I only got to use this once and it was with Gonta and he is no longer with us. So, uh, guys, do we pray for Kibo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's let's see who we get. Let's let's see who we get. Oh, this could end very badly. Oh. <gasps> yeah. All right. We're we got this. I don't know how this is going to go. This is this is one of my best case scenarios for this. It's going to be Mew wearing a mask of Maki. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so awkward. I won the lottery. <laughs> I got I got my girl Maki. <laughs> All right. Is it just going to be this the whole time? Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Maki's ideal fantasy. I wonder what that could be. Hey, even if we ended up- even if I ended up getting somebody, like, not top tier, I'd still roll with it. It's still gonna be hilarious. Hey. Hey. Huh? Uh, hey. Jeez. I still don't know anything, even after we've been together for over ten years. I'm sorry, what? Hmm. Ten years? What's wrong? Right before you entered elementary school, you came to the orphanage, remember? Uh, uh mm. yes. I remember. I see. Maki and I are friends from the orphanage. <gasps> the childhood friends. <gasps> but she said that we were together for over ten years, right? Perhaps that means in this fantasy, Maki never became an assassin. Um. She's just a normal high school girl. Hey, Maki, this might sound weird, but have we been together all this time? That's right. Yes. Why are you asking me weird questions? Doesn't seem like she's lying. I suppose she really isn't an assassin. Well, if this is Maki's fantasy, that means... Why? What's up with you? You've been acting really strange lately. No. N no, it's nothing. <sighs> I don't know why you're making that face. I don't get you. But... Do you think that you should? Did I say something? Maki's blushing. What happened? <laughs> because. I, I didn't know you thought about things like that. This whole time I never noticed. Huh? Things like that. Hey! Y you... You're the worst. You're the worst ever. What? Where did this come from? What is it? What? Are you trying to get me to say? It's all because you said that when we played house. The younger kids are copying us. I said something? What was it? Ew. You're usually so unreliable, but then you had to say that all of a sudden. What a pain. You said you didn't want to play house anymore, but instead start a real family. When did you start thinking about that? I never even noticed it before. Huh? I said what? What are you trying to That call? means you and I... <sighs> well, you must have said that seriously, knowing the type of guy you are. You don't lie, and you would never do anything to make someone sad. I already know that. I wasn't with you for this long just for your looks. This is- this is- this interesting narrative that's- this mental image of this person that Maki's imagining. That's why... I... Maki stopped pouring her heart out and looked down. Hmm. Maki? What's wrong? Hey. Give me your hand. Huh? My hand? Like this? Maki squeezed her hands around mine as if trying to envelop it. Uh, um... Uh, um this is... This is definitely, definitely strange. strange. Oh. When I think about you, when I hold your hand, when I touch you, I'm happy, but I'm scared. 
I'm satisfied with so little, but at the same time, I want more. I don't understand. This is the first time I've ever felt this way. I felt Maki's hands tighten around mine. Hey, Shuichi. certain about some things because she's not picturing like they're not seeing me they're seeing their person so am i maki's person oh i don't want to let you go i'll stay by your side forever close enough to hold your hand ah <laughs> the married years i want to cuddle just the two of us if this is what families do and I want to do that. Oh, that's so wholesome. That's what it means to love, right? Oh. Maki. After you said you wanted to start a family, I thought about it. You're my friend from the orphanage. You've always been there for me. That's normal, but not at the same time. You think about me. I think about you, too. We stayed together after all this time. This is probably just a miracle, but miracles turn to false hope eventually. Maki stared into my eyes. Her gaze was so serious, so resolute, I felt it in my bones. I don't want to lose anything. You, or this feeling. That's why I want you to promise me. Not just a marriage proposal, but something that lets me feel more. Maki had made her decision. I needed to make mine. Took a breath to prepare my heart and nodded with a smile. Was cute. That was wholesome and it was cute and it was very sweet. I like that. That was that was a that was a cute one. Part of me wanted something like a something goofy with a goofy character, but like Maki was like like my top tier pick. I'm like, if I can get Maki, like, I've made it. And it was so cute and it was sweet and I really liked it. It was just like it was the whole childhood friends thing. Oh, it was so cute. I almost don't even want to save over that. Because, I mean, I do have enough money to buy another key. And I don't want to... Like, I know you forget it by the end of it. Like, it doesn't carry over. But part of me, like, doesn't want to do that. <laughs> oh, probably. Actually, I don't... Oh, no. What if he called me Kaede? <laughs> if we had Kaito, what if he's just like, Kaede, you're back! And it'd be like, uh, okay. Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I think I'm gonna leave this. I'm I'm fine. <laughs> Save in a different slot so you can go back to it later. <laughs> it saves it for me. Nah, yeah, I'll save it in a different slot. Rise and shine. Actually, here we'll do that now then. Ooh, actually, we're coming up on time soon. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll put it in slot two. Yeah, I've got a million of these. May as well use them. Alright, so... Like, I don't know when I'm going back to that, though. I guess for funsies. Just to see what happens. Ooh, actually, we could load it. To see if we get somebody else. Um... Ooh, you know what? Maybe we'll do that. Because I'm curious to see what happens, and we're coming up on time anyway. So, hold up. I want to try and load it. Just to see if we get Maki again. Let's load it up. Let's see. Alright, let's skip ahead a little bit. 
just want to see if we get somebody different. All right. Ding dong. <laughs> oh, damn right, it. Kaito again. Right. Oh, boy, damn it. I can't I stand. Sorry, Kaito, we've already seen your suffering once and it already hurts my heart. Man, I thought I had gotten a little closer to it than I did. Here we go. Now it's going. Ah! Whoa! Alright. Huh? <laughs> Just Monokuma being like, Come on, horny teenager! You know what you want to do! <laughs> Man, Shuichi just living the dream. Alright, so we'll see what happens. See if we get Maki again. It's different! <gasps> oh my god, it's different! Okay. Alright, alright. Not bad! I'm curious to see how this goes, though. <laughs> alright. Alright, we're gonna go through this. We'll find out what's going on with Sumuki. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal. Shuichi! <laughs> We've got Shuichi. We got Puichi. We got Suichi. Hey, Suichi. Uh, um, Suichi. What's wrong? Hmm? Would you prefer I called you Big Brother? No! No, 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 no. Don't, don't bring that in here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, I don't wanna. You don't wanna call me little sister, do you, sweet chief? This ain't no Ramo. Leave that crap out of here. Big brother, little sister? Uh, what's going on here? Jeez. Don't be nervous. I'll still call you big brother in front of mom and dad. Oh no. If they found out about us, I wouldn't be able to be with you. Ah, uh, it's just like some story from a light novel. Our parents remarried, and I got a brother, and I fell in love with him. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Step brother. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Like. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this. Huh? What? Actually. I never thought that plain old me would be in such a flashy role. It's perfect, just like the big brother root in a dating sim. Or I guess, it's more like the, s the little sister root for you, huh, Suichi? I see, so that's what's going on. Fits Sumugi, but it's a little... heavy. Oh my. But I don't like you just because you're my big brother, Suichi. Falling in love with someone who just happened to be your sibling... Please say step-sibling. Please... Please make the distinction. I don't know. Like, I think the only people that enjoy these fantasies are people who don't have siblings. If you have a sibling, it's gross. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna continue this, but I'm not gonna like it. Like, at least with Step, like, they're... If they're older and they're step-siblings and they weren't raised together and there's no biological connection, maybe you could squint. But, like, if they're raised together, like, that's weird. Yeah, it started off- but you know what? Like, I could see Tsumugi kind of being into this. Like, unfor- I don't know. Like, according to the internet, this is quite popular now, so. I don't know. I wash my hands of it. I'm still gonna play this, but I'm not gonna like it. I just wanna make that clear. I don't like this. At all. It's a popular cliche, but to think I'd end up experiencing it myself. That's... 
Yeah. Sumugi. Oh, don't call me that, sweetie. Like, what if it was more like a dating someone where it was just like the, the cool upperclassman or something? Like, just like something. If we're lovers, we should have nicknames for each other, right? <laughs> Kawaii face, yes. Yeah, scary face. Sorry. Uh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I feel off today. It's plain to see I'm being negative. What's gotten into me? Um, times like this, I need you to cheer me up, Sweetie. Hmm. Cheer you up? How? What? Huh? Don't ask me. I don't have enough experience in this sort of thing. <laughs> um, so how about you? Put your hand on my cheek. Uh, okay. uh, all right, I can do that. Just as I was told, I cupped Sumugi's cheek in my palm. Sumugi sighed and covered my hand with hers. Uh, oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <sighs> Sumugi released a deep breath and watched me closely through her glasses. It was such a seductive gaze, I almost forgot to breathe. Oh, he's, he's digging this now. <laughs> Your hands are surprisingly big, sweetie. Uh, um... uh, you think so? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? It's plain to see you're embarrassed. Well, it's just that when you say things like that, it feels as though we're real lovers. <sighs> you don't think we're real lovers? Ooh, <laughs> you're in trouble now. Tsumugi's countenance shifted to a look of foul scorn. Oh man, you are blowing this, Shuichi. Like I thought. So, you can't see me as anything more than your little sister? Are you just humoring your silly little sister by pretending to be her lover? Yeah, that's a thing people do. No. No, that's not it. Tsumuki's expression was inscrutable. She pulled my hand off her cheek, then... Uh. Whoa! Well, this is... This escalated quickly. <laughs> oh my god. This is... This is a lot. I might be blushing right now. This is a lot. Okay. <laughs> god. Yeah, this is, uh... This is... This is something, isn't it? <laughs> slid my finger into her mouth and started sucking. I can't even say I can't even say it with a straight face, guys. I can't. Wait! What are you doing? We're siblings! Step siblings! I lost my composure completely and yanked my finger from her mouth. I tried not to think about the fading warmth. Nope. This is like the coolest I tried lingering. This is awful. <laughs> no, don't tell Twitch. We nothing weird has been shown yet. We're okay. <laughs> was that a little too bold? That was very bold. <laughs> but if I didn't take it that far, you wouldn't realize. This makes me this makes me scared for what Muse would be. If this is Sumugi, what is Muse gonna be? Realize what? Well, you know, if you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. What? I want to become one with you. I want us to feel everything together. This is a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> she batted her eyelashes at me in a way that was impossible to misinterpret. This is quite spicy. Uh, we can! I mean, why not? We we got some fun. We've got it saved here. We can do it. Oh god, imagine if we got s some of the guys tomorrow. Oh damn. Okay. I gotta finish this up. Okay. Her eyes, her lips, her body. They begged me to take her. I like you, sweetie. If I ignore these feelings just because we're siblings... Oh, there she goes again. Bring that back into it. I'd regret it the rest of my life. That's 
how much I like you. Um. So something just occurred to me. Um, so I just want to say a quick apology to uh, one or two people who might be watching. Um, occasionally my parents like to tune into my streams. So uh, mom and dad, don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> this is the game. I did not write this. <laughs> I have done nothing to bring this upon my- s no, that's a lie. I opened Pandora's box. I didn't know what I was gonna get. <laughs> Her lips, a smile, she sauntered toward me. She spoke slowly, letting every syllable sink in. I love you, sweet cheek. I felt like her voice had wrapped around my brain, caressing it. I couldn't help it. She had me. Well... Wasn't that something, folks? <sighs> okay. All right. Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. All right. And we are going to call that there for today. I think I think that got our hearts racing enough. For today <laughs> ah, like it's that it's a fine line isn't it it is a fine fine line well thank you all so much for joining me on this little adventure we had today we got to explore the last little bit of the school we got a, a tiny bit of plot progression I'm still fighting with Kaito which sucks I got to have a really, really cute, wholesome scene with Maki that made my heart hurt. And then immediately had Whiplash with Sumugi making me both horrified and embarrassed <laughs> at the same time. So we will be continuing tomorrow night, both with the actual plot of the game and it'd be kind of fun to reload one of the other ones and see who else we get. Because now we know it's random. It's not set in stone. So maybe what we'll do is we'll start off with another one. And if it's somebody new, we'll play it out. And then I'll load the, the new save. And we'll continue. It is both the best and the worst. It's, it's, it's perfectly balanced, as all things should be. But again, <laughs> the worst. It's the perfect term for it. But thank you all so much for joining me for the this fun little bit of silliness tonight. It was a lot of fun. I look forward to continuing tomorrow night at 7.30. If anything happens between now and then, yes, that is a tale of two keys right there. Two love keys. Um, if anything happens between now and then, I'll be sure to let you know on Twitter. And if you're looking for something to watch in the meantime, I got my YouTube channel. I've got my Discord as well, and uh, I think that's pretty much it for tonight. We're pretty much right on time wrapping it up. So yes, I'm looking forward to see what happens next session. I wonder, we're gonna have to see Kokichi. He is, it is weird going through a whole session without Kokichi being here. Like, that. I miss that little shit disturber, you know? But until tomorrow night, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your Monday night. Uh, so long, bear well, and bye, Onara, and I will see ya. Have a good one.